Hello my crafty friends. It's Nikki again in the next installment of my So You Only Have 10 Minutes series. I am using um, Call Me Crafty Owl sheet load of cards sketch for June as my inspiration. And I'm going to finish, try to finish up with the cardstock behind this pattern paper, which is CSA1. Three and a quarter by four and an eighth. And then if I'm finished with that, I can start on the pattern paper, which will be three by four. Because I have yellow cardstock on the front of the cards, I decided to go with the mint macaron as a layer for my pattern paper. Okay, let's get started. So we're going to cut these pieces at four and eighth by three and a quarter. Three and a quarter. Oh. Three and a quarter by four and an eighth. Three and a quarter. And yes, I'm going to have a lot of scraps because if I had done this correctly, this probably wouldn't have been an issue. <laughs> Three and a quarter. Oops. No, that's three and a quarter by four and an eighth. I am really super pleased that Alicia tried this and that she. She said something about me and my channel and I have several more subscribers and I'm just absolutely so grateful for that shout out crafty people are the best make the best friends don't they I'm I'm just really really grateful for her all her help and all her creativity My, my theory on scraps, um, I've decided after having way too many of them, was to not use anything, you know, what am I going to use that for? So I just throw those away. Sometimes these are big enough for sentiments or base, bases for sentiment strips. But other than that, I, I get rid of them. Because I had two big uh, expanding files full. I mean, just full to busting. And I thought, no. <laughs> it comes in handy when you're punching little 
little bitty thing of like hearts and stars. You could use a piece forever, it seems like. But these thin little bitty scraps. No, I just throw them away. How are you doing? We're down to six minutes. Let's see. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna make ten of these and then start on the on the uh, pattern paper. You have to be really careful to, when you have a design that goes one direction. So let me see what I can get out of these because this is not so critical. Okay, this is going to be... <laughs> Okay, PP2 will be 3 by 4 All right, let's start over. 3, 5, 4. Six by six is a little harder to get what you need out of it. It's almost exact. So we'll go with that. Right. is three because you can get two pieces out of a six by six. Three by four. Let's try this. Perfect. The candles are going straight up and down. What are we doing? Two minutes. Okay, I have 10 pattern pieces, so let's put them on our cards. If you notice in her sheet, it goes all the way up to the top, so that's what I'm going to do here. Put it all the way up to the top and have a little bit, a little bit showing on the bottom. This pattern paper was part of a D stash from um, Crazy Paper Chick. 
Alicia, another Alicia. And she was offering big bundles for like a really nice price. So I got a lot of pattern paper. So that's going to be another thing I'm going to do is uh, spend my 10 minutes to see how much pattern paper I can cut up and get ready for projects. Because I am just li like everybody else. I don't like to cut up pattern paper. <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> I don't want to cut it up. Okay. We're getting close. 20 seconds. And there we are. Okay. Let's get this one on. And call it good. All right. I have one, two, three, four, five, six ready to go. And that's after cutting cutting both pieces out so right we shall continue working on these and getting them put on the card bases and then we'll we'll do the um, let's see. we'll work on the flags both the small sentiment flag and the um, the flag down here, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, thank you so much for watching, and um, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.